yes, Obsidian is my most used notes app, but it is not the first, second, or even third app I open in the morning. I like to go through my notifications, so YouTube, Twitter, or X, Discord, and WhatsApp. Then, take a quick look at my day plan on Morgan, my calendar app of choice, followed by weighing myself so when I get on the bike later, it calculates my watts accurately, open the blind so I can see, but only halfway because my blind eye is closer to the window and bright lights hurt. So it's not until I get to my PC that I see Obsidian for the first time. My setup involves ticking things off in Morgan, going through emails, opening Discord, Zotero, and of course, Obsidian. And if there is anything interesting like blogs, articles, videos, or a thread from any of my morning notifications, I'll add them to Zotero. Most of the time, I will pick one of the sources as my warm-up for the day. Despite having the video up, I'm not really watching it. My focus is on my Obsidian dashboard looking at projects that I'll be working on during the day, adding any tasks into Morgan that I think of whilst going through my Obsidian projects. Then I actually went into my first session while the video was still going. I was really just listening out for anything significant. Yes, I have four screens. It is hard to get them all on camera, but this is one of the reasons why Obsidian is so good for me. I have a research file on the far right, screen four, the script up in split screen so I can look at two parts of the script at the same time, screen three, and my canvas of my thinking around this topic on screen two, with the internet up on screen one for quick searches or clarification of stats with Zotero. But in this session, I thought about an article I posted recently and wondered how it could relate to the current article I'm writing. So went through that on screen one. I then wanted to get some other people's thoughts, so started a discussion in my Discord server. But all my writing is in Obsidian, so I can find articles I have written on Substack inside of Obsidian and then link the writing together, of course. Then while writing this script, I was going through Zotero highlighting key points, then importing the highlights into Obsidian for reference and integration into my thinking. Obsidian and Zotero make this so easy. Highlight, push button, search for source, import, and write. I can easily go longer than two hours, but I plan my day in line with the concept of periodization. It is part of my philosophy of practice, or POP. So, time for my active thinking session. I, I cycle twice a week. Obviously, I can't write while cycling or think in the traditional view, but I find that during rest periods or after the session, I solve issues, come up with new ideas, or think of something that could be useful. You could call it subconscious thinking, maybe a, a mental break. Either way, if my body is active above baseline, then I experience thinking benefits. On the other hand, aimlessly watching social media just saps my energy. For those curious, I'm using Zwift, no, not sponsored, and it links with Strava. Again, no, not sponsored. And I follow the sessions they provide so I can get on, cycle, and get off quick and easy. The sprints may look painful, and they are, but it's the best part. And after that, I have to go on my phone. Note down all the thoughts in Morgan, so after lunch, I can put them into Obsidian. The main reason I use Morgan here is that Morgan is faster on startup for mobile. Yes, this video is about why to use Obsidian, but it is also important to know why not. And the mobile startup is slow when using Obsidian Sync, especially when you edit files as much as I do. Reflecting after my previous video, I'm going to call this a cooldown, but have reframed how I see cooldowns compared to the traditional literature. Still, closing the open loops, ready for lunch. The first half of lunch was recovery, just eating and watching the news. But the second part, I got thinking. Instead of trying to block it out, I went with the flow, jotting down ideas again into Morgan. This time not because of speed, but because I don't want to start writing while I'm meant to be recovering. Obsidian has less constraints when compared to Morgan, so I find Morgan better suited in this situation. Washing up is the main first recovery of my day as I just listen to music and think about the washing up. But in my next session warm up, I put those notes from Morgan into Obsidian again while watching videos that have come through on notifications or are in my watch later list. Often not research related because this is a warm up, I don't want to get too sidetracked. While putting the thoughts into Obsidian, it builds the foundation for the next writing session. I'm again using the two screen split screen to see lots of different things in Obsidian while watching the video. You could say I'm using my work as a distraction to my fun because my eyes wander onto notes and writing thinking about topics, concepts, and ideas whilst watching a bookshelf be built. Once I get to the point where I want to start writing, I do, irrespective of where I'm at with the video. 
The outline feature in Obsidian lets me jump up and down long files quickly. The top right screen has an outline specific to the file, which doesn't change. It makes finding references to the point easier as I use footnotes in the files as well. Another great feature. Using footnotes speeds up referencing while writing. Shortcut, bracket, bracket, file, link, then just add the number to the relevant points in the script. Combine that with easy Zotero highlight import and links which take you back to the source makes checking sources easy as well. Open up the source file in Obsidian, click on the highlight link, and it opens up the highlight in Zotero for me on screen one. So if I want more context while writing, it is only a couple of clicks away. As I'm going through sources, I'll add new sources into the Zotero collection. Zotero automatically finds duplicates so I can merge them together, but if I do have notes on a source, I can open the Obsidian file from Zotero. All of this together makes writing fun for me, so following a plan becomes challenging sometimes. Turns out this could actually be the perfect example. I had a plan in place and you know what? I'm not gonna stick to it because I'm interested in exactly what it is that I'm doing now. So I'm gonna keep working on this. And I don't think I've had a break in three hours. I'm not sure, I'm not really keeping count. I'd have a look at the recording afterwards, but yeah, uh, let's keep going. Now you can use AI in Obsidian, but I actually prefer the Bing AI. Firstly, it's free. Some Obsidian plugins require a key, which you may need to pay for. Second, it is easier to jump through source links and open up new tabs for exploration on Bing. But most importantly, it doesn't clutter my Obsidian file with questions, cues, and answers. I have tried various options, but Bing is just better for me. Having said that, Obsidian Canvas can be a blessing and curse. While writing with the canvas up, I use it to connect concepts and continue conversations, adding blank cards, skimming through related research files, putting links between topics, but I need to check myself sometimes to make sure I'm not straying from my original writing topic. In this case, I actually started to stray. It was about four hours in at this point, and with dinner coming up, I didn't want to start another writing session. Yes, sometimes I work straight through lunch or straight through dinner because I'm writing. So I read my script out loud instead. Yes, this script is for a video, but I find talking out loud helps me be critical of what I've written, even with scripts for Substack articles. Calling myself stupid, vague, or having poor evidence is something I do frequently, because that is part of my pop. Dinner is my second recovery. Cooking and talking with the family is again part of my pop, but my focus is on those conversations rather than the thinking I've been doing. Now, my session after dinner was tied in with the responses from the Discord discussion I started earlier in the day. Because of the custom hotkey setup I have, I made a new article note about the discussion really quick. Hotkey, type, enter. And it appeared automatically in my dashboard so I could go straight in and start writing straight away. Using the class properties and template, it was an essay class and I changed the status and priority accordingly. Just like you might do in something like Notion, only without the database faff, as everything in Obsidian is just a file. Instead of being in a database, it is in a class and can have multiple classes at once. Once I'd written up my thoughts, I decided to explore the topic in a different medium, video. Obsidian is great for thinking with words and images, but video editing brings concepts to life. Animation, audio, music adds emotion and different connections to topics, but that is a story for another day.